Number 4D, displacement vector D1 is in the YZ plane, 63 degrees from the positive direction of the Y axis, has a positive Z component and has a magnitude of 4.5 meters. Displacement vector D2 is in the XZ plane, 30 degrees from the positive direction of the X axis, has a positive Z component and has magnitude of 1.4 meters. What are letter A, the dot product between D1 and D2, letter B, the cross product between D1 and D2, and letter C, the angle between D1 and D2. So the first thing that you have to do is to write vector D1 and D2 in unit vector notation. So to make it easier for you to see what I'm going to do, let me write our coordinate system over here. Let's say this is the y direction and this is the z direction. So we know that D1 makes 60, 63 degrees from the positive direction of the y axis and has a positive z component. So we can imagine that our vector is something like this and this is 63 degrees. So this is our vector D1. So if you want to write vector D1 in unit vector notation, we have to decompose this vector. So let's say that we have one Y component, let's call it D1Y, and one Z component, let's call this one D1Z. So if you want to find D1I, Y, you have to just do the magnitude of the vector d1 times the cosine of the angle which is 63 degrees and if you want to find the z component of the vector you have to multiply the absolute value of vector d1 times the sine of 63 degrees so if you do the calculations remember that the magnitude of d1 is 4.5 meters you would find, let's see, what is the answer of this calculation over here is 2.04 in uh, meters. And the answer of this calculation over here is 4.01 meters. Don't forget to include the unit. So we can write our vector D1. Our vector D1 would be 2.04 in the j direction plus 4.01 in the k direction and don't forget to include the unit which is meters so this is our vector d1 in unit vector notation so we have to do the, do the same thing for vector d2 so let's draw our coordinate system over here so I'm just drawing this way so it's easier for you to see. However, since we already chose that Y is in the right direction, the X direction would point toward us. So this would be X direction, but I'm drawing this way so it's easier to see. And this is Z. And we know that vector D2 makes 30 degrees with in respect to the positive direction of the x-axis and have a positive z component. So this could be our vector d2 and this is the angle which is equal to 30 degrees. So we can do the same thing here. So d2x would be equal to the magnitude of vector d2 multiplied by the cosine of 30 degrees and the z component d2z would be equal to the magnitude of the vector d2 multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees so if you do the calculation you would find that d2x is equal to 1.21 meters and d2z is equal to 0 0.7 meters so our vector d2 in unit vector notation is equal to 1.21 in the i direction plus 0 0.7 in the k direction don't forget to, to include the unit which is meters 
Okay, so now we can do letter A, B, and C. Let's see, letter A. You want to do the dot product between D1 and D2. So D1 dot D2 is equal to 2.04 in the J direction plus 4.01 in the K direction dot 1.21 in the I direction plus 0 0.7 in the K direction. So if you want to do the dot product, the only thing that you have to do is to multiply the components that point in the same direction. For example, let's paint this blue. Let's paint this green. So our Z direction is green. And let's say that our X direction is red. So the only thing that you have to do is to multiply the same colors and then sum everything up. So since you don't have blue colors in this side, this multiply by zero, so this goes away, and this goes away as well. So we just have to do 4.01 times multiplied by 0 0.7, and this is equal to 2.81 meters square. Don't forget to include the units here, because let's see, d1 is in meters, d2 is in meters, so d1 times d2 is meters squared, right? Don't forget to include the correct unit over here. So letter B, we want to do the cross product between D1 and D2. We have to calculate the determinant of this matrix over here. The first row is always the same, is I hat, J hat, and K hat, it's always the same. Uh, the second row is the second vector, and in this case, and the i direction is 0, the j direction is 2.04, k direction is 4.01. So the second vector goes in the third row, which is 1.21. Let's write it again. 1.21. This is 0, this is uh, 0 0.7. So if you calculate this matrix over here, you would find, let's see, 1.43 in the I direction, 4.86 in the J direction, minus 2.48 in the K direction, and the unit is meters squared as well. So the determinant of this matrix over here gives us this answer over here. So this is the answer of letter B. For letter C, we want to find the angle between D1 and D2. Remember that when you do the dot product between two vectors, this is the same as the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the second vector times the cosine of the angle between them. So if you want to find the angle between them, so let's do it in more steps. So if you want to find the angle between them, you just have to isolate the angle. So this is a dot b this is the magnitude of vector a magnitude of vector b so you have to isolate this angle so this angle is the inverse function of cosine or r arc cosine of a b over the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b and we already know a dot b which is this one this result over here and the only thing that we have to find is the mag. Well, we already have the magnitude, right? We have the magnitude of vector a and vector b over here. So this is just the inverse function of the cosine of 2.81 over 4.5 times 1.4. And this gives us 63.5 degrees. So this is the answer of letter C.